You are now listening to the new Old Heads podcast, premiered every Thursday at noon Eastern Standard Time at BringDownTheBand.com, and brought to you by No Bad Ideas, Coleman Dental, Printfinity, Indie CD and Vinyl, and Sun King Brewery. Support the new Old Heads by visiting our Patreon at p a t r e o n dot com slash New Old Heads. Episode one hundred and seventy seven of the New Old Heads podcast. I am Major Seven. I make pretty cool beats from time People to time. Know this. Thank you, sir, for that. Uh, reassurance there Appreciate the support uh, <laughs> Across the table Ableton Professor at Decademics DJ School And Production School Also Supply Store Where you can get your DJ gear Music producer And also founder of BringingDownTheBand.com My man Longevity How are you sir? Feeling great I see you fresh to death with the uh, partner t-shirt A little wrinkle but it's cool Yeah fuck it <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, across the table, DJ Extraordinaire, CEO of Print Infinity. I know you don't like C-Level, but damn it, I'm going to say it. Longtime contributor contributor to bring down the band as well, my man, DJ J. Diff. Salutations. What's happening, man? What's going on there now? A lot of product placement I see. You know, bad ideas up. Oh, yeah. See? Got to support the partners. Got to shine a light on the partners. You yes, know? sir. Yes, sir. I see. Indeed, indeed. I see to my immediate left, former radio personality, master of ceremonies, the voice of Indianapolis. Well, not I, for the next two weeks. <laughs> You're right. He was the voice of Indianapolis, but he <laughs> is uh, on quarantine with everybody else. Kansas City Mac, my man Jay Moore. How are you, sir? Um, Talk to me, man. I'm hanging in there, man. <laughs> I know. This, 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 this hit you a little different, it, man, because you be out whole, there in the streets. Yeah, it hit me completely different, because when they say all bars, restaurants are closed, um... That basically means, hey, you're laid off. Yeah. So, um, good times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's that's where I'm at right now. So, got some got some things I'm working on, you know, because uh, um, the bills don't stop. In fact, no, they don't. Uh, Sprint sent sent me a real nice text today. So, um, mm. that was that was cool. They were like, look, um, coronavirus or not, you want you want to keep using this phone? Mm. Uh, go ahead and send us what we need. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, tell them uh, relax the taste. <laughs> you know, and I, oh no, I well, that's gonna go, but you hey. can try. Mm-hmm. They'll be like, "Oh, we can cut it off right now." If that's how you want. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, Sprint. They, they service be trash, but they show will call you. You know, the thing is, thing is, I've never had a problem with with Sprint service. Like, I've had the same cell phone number since '99. So if somebody's been like, "Oh man, I, I I don't have your number," I was like, "Yeah, you, yeah, you do." Mm. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> but you know, right now it's just like okay. What bills are we going to pay? Yeah, where you know, and I, and and shout out to everybody who's in that same situation because yes. pretty much every, anyone who's in the service industry, where yeah. you're working for tips, or you're a bartender, or a uh, a bouncer, or a DJ, you know, this is you know, we're under two week. Yeah, this is what mm-hmm. it is. Uh, Denver, it's eight weeks. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, they shut San Francisco is on a 24 hour like lock lockdown. So, yeah, yeah. they, they can't cur- go anywhere. There's a curfew in um, that was already applied in New Jersey to a, a certain city. Yeah. I think it was 10 to 5, and then everybody had to be, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, man. This How does like, West Virginia not have any by any cases at all? I have no have idea. Have you driven dog. through West Virginia? I have. A lot of trees. They don't have any. They, nobody sent them in te- any tests. You know, because that's probably true. This, no, this it, because this is the thing. Like, and I, I, tr- I try not to get into it with people on Facebook. It's just not worth it. There's so many doctors on Facebook on my timeline. Doctors and, oh, and my people God. who got a friend that works at the Pentagon, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, don't know? get me started. Go ahead. And. Uh, this is the thing when they say, oh, there's only 30 people in the entire state who have it. Yeah, but we've only tested like 160 people. Yeah, it's right. just mad and We only have, I, now this is something I got on good authority. As of like maybe a couple of days ago, we only had 900 tests in the entire state. So what's messed up about that too? Yeah, that's why. Roche is, that's why, that's is why. centered here. So yeah. they're actually making the test here. Right. But they're not giving them out. I actually know somebody um whose uh, father and wife have an experience at Community North Hospital right yeah. now Yeah, from going through actually having these symptoms and right. how they're not being issued tests. And it's crazy. Like, it's real. You remember we were talking about, um, uh, prior to coming on, uh, J. Dave, we were talking about the the picture I told you I saw, people still at the, at the beach 
Like it's just yeah, a whole bunch crazy. of people that were just they out there. Video be that was today. Yeah, and I'm I'm just like these these are the people that's messing up the rotation. Like you really making it worse by just going out there to kick it. You know what I'm saying? And not paying attention to clearly all all of the stuff that's been on the news and what people are saying in terms of the numbers of people that should be around each other. Yeah. Like you just go ignore that and go kick it on the beach. Like doesn't make sense to me. This is the uh, idiocracy of it all too. To me is is it's not like people that like I, I definitely feel for my industry people because although I have a, a nine to five, I still deal in the industry. You know sure. what I'm saying? But sure. for the ones that are out there that just want to congregate and be around all these people right. and are acting like it's such a big deal yeah. for them to just be cool, chill for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't y'all have like families, people y'all fuck with that y'all love that it wouldn't hurt to spend some time with. Right. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying, be a rebel right now. Regardless if you think it's a conspiracy theory of whatever kind or sort that's been out there or you think the government is trying to do this, that, or the other. Police states, the one that's popping up today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sickness is real. Like you population can, You control. can really get sick. Right. So why would you want, even though you're young, why would you want to put your your parents or the elderly people in your family in danger behind you just want to turn up one last time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think you, didn't you say that um, you saw, <clears throat> excuse me, someone mentioned something about going to the club on Sunday somewhere. There's a like lot that. of people mentioned going okay. to the club on Sunday. Like, I, I don't, look, I don't I understand was, that. I'm not, I'm going to lie, you know, cause I was trying to still, um, you know, I, cause I knew this was coming. So I was like, all right, let me collect my last little bit of money. Right. You know this this weekend because I heard that this lockdown was coming, uh, but at the same time, like I was going out to get money. Like when, as soon as I got my check, I left. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, if, I did a house party on Friday. Minimal yeah. though, real small. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But still. Yeah, I I feel you. No, I feel you. One hundred percent. I know what you're saying. I actually saw a girl in the club with a with a surgical mask. She's like, See, Look, I'm not. I'm See, not. if it's that deep, you should have <laughs> stayed yeah. your ass at home. That's about as bad as. The uh, no shoes. We it it might even be week. worse. It's worse yeah. Because Is it's like worse? you coming out consciously, like I'm I'm a little worried. But yeah. I'm gonna come out anyway and I'm gonna just wear a mask in the club. You know what's crazy? In two thousand twenty, a part of me thinks that it's less about prevention and more about going viral or some dumb shit like that. Nah, it's like more about people going just viral. not giving a fuck. Like people literally don't give a fuck. Yeah. They think yeah. they're untouchable until you get touched. Yeah. Like, it's, it's wild, man. I don't understand it. I think it's because there are a lot of young people who feel like, okay, well, you know, they say it affects older people and people who have compromised immune systems. Mm -hmm. So I'm young. Even if I get it, I'll bounce back. Yeah. That's a terrible, in my opinion, that's a terrible thought process. So let's go to the beach. Yeah. Right. And let's just, just kick it. We just got an older uh, mindset. That's all. Is that what it is? Maybe we just older. I mean, they're just young. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. We like get it, older, we get more mature, we realize shit. Like if there was no money there that. for me, there's yeah. no way I'd have, you know, been out after. But, you know, like, there are people who was out here touching each other's faces for free this weekend. Yeah. Like if people didn't show up, I wouldn't have been disappointed. <laughs> mm. Yeah. But. I'm seeing more, El like I, I went to the gig uh, today and a fourth, probably two fourths of the people that were there um, last week are gone. So 50 now, percent then yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, shit, we're working home. from home right do now do them fractions yeah, <laughs> come on man don't do that i ain't want to do percent okay all right yeah my anyway. job sent everybody home with their equipment there was a yeah actually my um one of my team leads hit me up yeah we'll hit everybody up as a team on yeah. i want to say saturday sent us all a text yeah like we're going 100 percent to working from home because initially they just sent everybody home whose kids were affected by not school having to go to school. Right, yeah. So it came out Saturday that everybody now has to work from home. Yeah. So Monday was a matter of going to work, grabbing my monitors, my computer, and going home. All my stuff and taking it to the house, setting it up. So take it to yeah. the house. You know to the house. Artist. Cabin fever. Yeah. Mm. It's about to set in for a lot of folks. Not me. <laughs> well, a lot like, of I've people was, hey a lot of people are built for this especially like people that this, are this is my life intro, introverted yeah. in the first place yeah it's like me not having to go out and socialize yeah. with people 
Like, one, of, one of my homegirls at work was like, she's like, this doesn't bother me at all. It's right up my alley. I just go, I'm an introvert anyway. I can just go to the crib. Yeah. Let me tell you, you know I, I, I taught late on Friday night and then I was home Saturday, Sunday, I didn't leave. Then I went in and taught on Monday and it wasn't enough time to be home. Right. Like, I need those two, three days. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Who who knows, man? Like, this is all, um, this is all new. So we just kind of watch it. I think. We'll see. I feel like things change, which they literally are like day to day. By the time always, this comes out, things will probably change even, you know, even again. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, there's, I think so also. There are rumors of a stimulus package. Yeah. Like, there's literally There's been, rumors of a full-on United States quarantine. Mm-hmm. There's rumors of a lot of things, so. Yeah, there's literally been a, a press conference every day. Yeah. For the past, what, since Saturday, yeah, I think. I, I go to sleep and wake up with new news every day. So, yeah, I mean, so. Yeah, and and like I, I was telling y'all, um, I'm, I'm not one of those people that are like a conspiracy theorist as far as thinking what's about to happen and be right. prepared like that. But I feel like people need to go in and snatch up your, your guns, pistols, whatever you need to do right now, just in case they put a lockdown on that shit yeah. so you can have it. Um, any supplies you need as far as first aid kits, uh, flashlights, whatever, because if the power goes out and nobody's around to turn this shit back on, right? all that food that you put in your refrigerator is going to go bad, so you need to stock up on some some canned goods and shit too true yeah you don't need 19 gallons of milk no nah, you don't need that you don't unless need a, you're gonna like make a bunch of milkshakes and freeze them yeah, you don't need a shit ton of uh <laughs> milk uh That's toilet paper do. either yeah. yeah no pun intended i don't yeah. know what what the science is behind that like it's you know, everywhere too like people like oh my, i saw people how did wash your hands turn in and let me get 50 rolls of toilet, toilet paper, paper. Yeah. That's dumb as shit. Yeah. Don't touch your face. All right, let me get some more toilet paper. Yeah. Economy's interesting as well. With oh, everything. Man. All the have money. You, have you all been to grocery stores since all this oh, stuff? Yeah. 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 This I is w- a very interesting study in human behavior, capitalism, and just. 100%. You know, the power of the media. Yeah. It's one of those things where yeah, there's, there's definitely a, a side of people that do not. Um, like democratic socialism, which is essentially what we have and what a lot of people are advocating for. Um, but you can tell that they fear what uh, a lot of the things that democratic socialism kind of helps. Mm. Mm. And uh, well, because yeah. you know what straight capitalism is is the guy in Tennessee who went around and bought all the Hannah Sanitizer. Yeah. In the entire state, they found them though. Yeah, they found them. And you okay. know what? Redistributing yeah. that is democratic socialism. Man, yep. that's tough. You know what else is democratic socialism? Talk to me. This a this thousand dollar check that everybody is foaming at the mouth to receive. Yep. Well, you know, democrat. You know, this is the crazy thing. Uh, I, Healthcare. This is this is <laughs> yeah. talk that talk. This is exactly why I don't go back and forth with people on uh facebook because there was a guy i went to high school with because this is how you really find out about the people you went to high school with is facebook Uh you know talking about you know the the horrors and how democratic socialism is this and that 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 because bernie sanders i think it's when he won the primary he won and it's like i just wanted to chime in and say you're a police officer Mm. 100 percent of your salary and benefits is democratic socialism Mm -hmm. that's tough so it's it's but you know what it's lost on people like that. So can't that's tell what, them shit. You can't tell none of these you know, Facebook salaries. <laughs> nothing. These are Yo. these are all people I went to a public high school with. It was like you know how we got to school every day on, the, on that yellow school bus. Democratic socialism. Mm-hmm. Yo, I'm telling you, y'all man. act like this is all something new. A lot of you don't like socialism because it this ain't rhymes with communism. <clears throat> this ain't Venezuela, my yeah, friend. This not. ain't that. And if I get one more, and man, this ain't gonna be Venezuela. Either. That's not how nah, that works. Nah. Not at all. And I was telling uh, Jay Diff, if I get one more message about um, my nephew, little cousin Booby, that worked for the government, little boom boom, little boom boom said, <laughs> "I'm like, first of all, little boom boom is not on Capitol Hill, Mm-mm. ma'am." And what you say? What you say? His, his job probably was man. He might work there, yeah, but it's probably sweeping floors or something. Okay. Some he heard it. He just heard it off. Yeah, he he doesn't have any access to classified information. Okay, I thought it was somebody that might have just drove the bus, <laughs> on, uh, by Capitol Hill or something, and just drove mm-hmm. by her. Some he shit. actually I don't might just work at that the front, uh, where the little thing goes. Up oh yeah, to yeah. Let you the in. gate. The gate. He okay. might work at the gate. I could see that. 
Yeah, yeah, he don't know jack shit. Little yeah. boom, or boom. they swear know, boom boom in the meetings though. Run around like, telling these runny kinds. Talking about yeah, <laughs> my cousin Tayshawn. He told me I was like, first of all, stop. <laughs> Tayshawn is not in the army. He is in prison, and you mm-hmm. need to stop lying to your children. Yeah. Knock it off, man. <laughs> I'm just glad. It, uh, <laughs> Knock we, it off, Jay. I'm glad that we feed it, uh, feed it out the uh, the people that were saying that the sickness wasn't real. Oh man, it was a lot of them at first too. Remember those? This woman oh, yeah. on Fox News lost her job. Yeah, it wasn't real. There's a whole Facebook group about them. Them. There's a group of Trump supporters that Amen. are calling the virus all a hoax. Did you see fam? Did you see your boy called it the Chinese virus? Yeah, that's your fam. <laughs> I was like, I was like, fam, did you just say the Chinese virus on national television? You said that shit. You know, you, well, it's when you uh, I, have to shit. adjust to a uh, uh, national security problem, but still you can't forget your base is mad racist, so you have to assign he fire certain the, uh, What you call it? The pandemic response. Yeah, didn't he get rid of them in I've seen Long go- going in uh, with somebody about that. I just left it alone. I, I was about to just put just... Nah. Smiley faces and nah. laughs better all than over. I do engage these. I watch him. I watch him cook. I, I, I literally him posted the Snopes <clears throat> that said "true" yeah. underneath the exact question of what it was. Yes, yeah. still bounce back to something else. I had somebody do me like that I, too. I, I said I can't argue semantics with you. Yeah, no, I, I no. can't do it anymore. Like if, I, I entertain it for a minute. If but. you'll argue over things that you can look up in a book, then really, what are we doing? here? The, the problem that I did is that I was just honest about one thing that he said. I said, I don't know. I was like, I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. And so once I did that, it opened up to just drilling into the semantics of something. I was like, look, I'm I pretty sure. See, I must have missed I'm this pretty sure. I usually see when he I was like, this. I'm pretty sure this is true. I was like, I don't okay. get my information from memes. Oh, okay. There's mm. a lot of people that I got to go find that one. I didn't see that one. A lot of people get their memes or facts, as they call them, mm. from memes. Uh, but it's whatever. I, hey, man, to each his own, you got your right to your opinion, whatever. Just be careful no, what you, you say. No, you I'm don't. talking about your you opinion, don't. not, <laughs> not you, you know what I mean. Like, you don't have Do a it. right to an opinion when there are things that you can actually disprove it. <laughs> I'm yeah. just saying, man. It's like, just be careful out there, man, with the information that you're sharing, bro, because some mm-hmm. of this shit is. You don't get to have opinions over facts. Facts and yeah. opinions are different. That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. I see. I see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. So. Um, bottom China. line, y'all be safe out there, man. Like, be safe. Get no, your kids attention. together. Get your kids together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do what not, you got to do. Not like your drink kid, but get your your real kid your, together. Your machete, uh, your shotgun, yeah. uh, your hatchet, yeah. um, your vitamins. Get your vitamin game up. That's Hi. right. Your How health, is it? Your health syringes, your yeah. shields, yeah. all that stuff. You know. <laughs> oh. Your yeah. backpacks, your helmets, you know, yeah. your vests. How, how is it that y'all uh, went out and bought all this toilet paper, and I can I can get whatever vitamin. I want right now. every single vitamin you want. Let me tell you, I've taken a vitamin every single day. Yeah, yeah. as you should. I've Which, taken multiple vitamins. This is I mean. before all this stuff happened. And I, more I, about I'm, and I'm always take vitamins anyways, but mm-hmm. I Just, made sure that I have. Shit, I took a shot of uh uh. Go apple old cider school vinegar when I got over here. Yeah, just because I hadn't taken mine today. Mm-hmm. See, my father used to give me. Cod liver oil. Oh, see, mm. that's the old that's school. Rough. I don't even know if that helps you. <laughs> no, cod, cod mm. liver oil gets you right. Will it now? Yeah, it gets you right. Mm. I right. think I'll, that, I'll take. I think I'm country. Yeah, yeah, it it's, right. it's country than a mug. Yeah, cod know. liver oil gets you right. It what's, gets you right from a country huh? point of get view. Get you right. See, <laughs> it's kind of like how ginger ginger ale is a cure to everything. Nah, okay. cod liver oil gets you right. They got Canada Canada Dry Bold. Man, you need to mess with that. They got so, Canada Dry Bold. So oh, don't start, man. If, if it's cod oil, stop, man. Fish oil, essentially. So then that's vitamin <sighs> what E? Is that what, so it's good for your hair and your skin. <laughs> See? Coach of stomach. Yeah, your daddy probably told you. Coach, coach of stomach. stomach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean it has other properties as well. I'm gonna look it up, man. Because don't get him yeah, started. Gotta, All right. <laughs> that is vitamin E, isn't it? Yeah. Am I butchering that? I don't know. Well, I, don't we'll know. Look I mean, I got some. They do got fish pills. oil pills. I don't. They do. Know. I, I heard, don't know if that's vitamin. Is that vitamin get, E? Get, I got them get, in there. Get Long got with a turmeric. That's a good. Yeah, one. I got some yeah. turmeric. I got a bag of turmeric at yeah. the crib. Yeah. Literally. Long, Long sell fish oil, so I know he got that. That's fine. On the low. <laughs> I'm t- I need to find that uh that sea moss plug. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, man. I heard about that. Mm-hmm. Gold. Go sea moss gold. It might even I be a smart know, choice to, to go ahead and get yourself some vitamin C pills, even if you take them. True. Vitamin C get you some vitamin D. Yeah, yeah. Look at the sun. 
you know. Yeah. When it's out. Yeah. yeah. If you quarantine, no shit. Might not see shit. You can stick your head out the window. You know? yeah. yeah. Before them folks come through there. All right. Um, <clears throat> where was I? Okay. I don't know. Cell Therapy. Great song. Great word. album. Um, okay. Ooh. So. Spit it out, Micah. Micah. So they called me down south. All right. So an album drop um, that has been very polarizing. I'm seeing opinions everywhere. By this. How about that? And I mean, I'm talking about you either are over here or you're over here. I'm not seeing too many. For those of you who are listening, it's two between. different places. Yeah, it's two different places. They couldn't see me. <laughs> we got people that watch, man. Knock it off, man. We got people that watch over here yeah, and over there. You got to cater to both. You're right. For y'all that's not watching, I just move my hands to <laughs> opposite sides. <laughs> a written testimony, Jay Electronica. And Jay-Z. Yes, yeah. and Jay-Z. Ten years we've been, we, I'm not going to say we've, the masses or whatever masses have been waiting on this album. This is scheduled to be his solo debut. Uh, I heard, we heard rumors, we talked about it on a few episodes back about Hove potentially being involved. Turns out Jay was involved. I think he's on every record, if I'm not mistaken. Except for one. Except for one. one. Yeah. Okay. The intro really don't. Oh, he's on. A, there's no. another one he's not on, too. Two. I think what, two of them, two records he's not on. on. Was it Ezekiel? He's not on uh, Fruits of the Spirit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. So. I don't know the names. Yeah, I got the, I got the list here. So we, we can go through them. Um, let's see. So I will go around the table. Um. I'm I'm just curious to hear you guys' thoughts about it because, like I said, it's you know you're people are talking about this album. We'll get to some of the other stuff because Joe Budden had some comments and he went back and forth with Jay as well on Twitter. So and Peter Rosenberg as well. Yeah, Rosenberg as well. He kind of lost me a little bit, did a little research, but whatever. We'll get to that. But um, Lone, I'm coming your way. Uh, did you need me to go down the track list just to get? <clears throat> no, I know there's ten tracks and there's an intro. Okay, um, cool. What were your thoughts, man? Overall, pros cons. How you feel about it? Uh, it was good. I just said that just because Jesse was expecting it. So just, <laughs> um, Shout out to my man Jesse Lee, man. No, it was pretty decent. Uh, no, I definitely did not. Was not like waiting on this to drop. I didn't really care that much, but um, I haven't been following Jay Electronica like that. Uh, but you know, I liked it. It um, I liked every track except for what was the one I said I didn't like. The one Flux that had the, yeah, yeah, had yeah the weird know. noises and shit. Yeah, in the background. I, I just cool. don't think their verses were synced up right or something. I don't know that that one was kind of trashed. You me. said it sounded like they didn't record to that beat. No, right? that's what it sounded. Yeah, it sounded like uh, it just, just didn't sound good to me. Everything else I liked. It was very minimal. Um, they kind of brought the minimalism aspect that Griselda does kind of to the mainstream a little bit glad you said that uh you know alchemist i think had a record on there he does um yeah i I mean shiny suit theory was old uh with with jay-z uh but overall outside of the mixing being hit or miss on some songs to me glad you said that um it was i thought it was a good solid effort i don't think it was amazing right but i don't think it was like I think it was a good release. I thought mm-hmm. I, I, I love it. I liked the songs. Um, I, I actually liked the fact that Jay Z was on it, but mm. you know, um, but no, it's not. Watch the Throne Part Two. No, yeah. it is not. I think. Uh, I well, I'll talk about that. Go ahead, Jay Diff. Talk to me. All right, so I'm gonna get my hate out the way first. Get that hate out the, out your out your heart, man. Go ahead. Because it really ain't it. hate. It's just observation. They honestly. waiting on that though. Um, I actually like this project a lot. Um. It's not, cl- it's not a classic. No. Thank you, no. sir. Um, nope. For this to be Jay Electronica's album, um, the first track is pretty much Farrakhan speaking. That's yep. all it is. That's the Followed first track. up by Farrakhan speaking some more, but with lyrics. Yep. But the first voice you hear is Jay-Z. Yep. So what does that tell me about this release? Uh-huh. Even if Jay-Z's featured on this album and he doesn't, like if you're looking at the track list and it doesn't show up, so it would be a surprise to you. Right. But if you press play, you're thinking you're about to hear this album from Jay Electronica you've been waiting on for ten years. The first voice you hear is Jay Z. Now it's it's as a Jay Z fan, I'm I'm with it, but this is a Jay Electronica album, so it's like supposedly it, you're still baiting me at that point. It's like right. you fucking with me. Okay, so Jay Z, 
I'm with it. I'm a Jay-Z fan. Jay-Z goes first. Jay-Z bodies it. Jay-Z goes off on this album, too, yeah. by the way. And it's it's not even on that extra intricate Jay-Z shit, but it's more on some simplistic, knowledgeable shit, though. You know what I'm saying? But that's my qualm right there. I, I think Jay Electronica should have been the first voice I heard on a Jay Electronica album, other than the intro. Got it. Um, yeah, I think they did. I think Jay being on it, they did that on purpose. Like, yeah. To surprise people. I'm not I'm not yeah. mad at Jay being on it. Um I just don't want one of him to be the first voice I hear. Got with it. it being a Jay Electronic release. It is not Watch the Throne. Um it's it's different because it's it's spiritual in a sense because it's Jay Electronica. I mean, when does Jay Electronica not drop some spiritual conscious, so True. to speak, even though it's cliche to say conscious, but yeah. Um that's what it is. Is yep. is not it's not something that you're turning up to. Watch the throne was turn up the yeah. whole album. Yep. Except for maybe uh a couple songs. Yeah, the one they talk about murder. Black on black With that murder. one yeah. and uh the joint Rizza did the one he talks Rizza about his did. son. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whatever possible. Or even son or the joy, the one that Pete Rock did. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it's turn up. Yeah. There's nothing on this is just good listening to like me. there's no paris on this album nah no, no, no uh paris. ghost of soldier slim is silly uh never in the story great blinding great i mean there's no misses on this album to me mm -hmm. even with uh flux shiny miss. flux capacitor is trash to me yeah i can skip over it yeah you know, <laughs> even shiny suit theory it was actually kind of cool to hear it again because i forgot about this song mm -hmm. when it came on it's like i know i heard it Mm -hmm. you know yeah, what I'm saying? it was the same for me. Yeah. But it, it was it, it was kind of refreshing to hear it again. You know what I'm saying? And maybe, maybe trash is too harsh. I say trash just from an overall standpoint. Like the writing on it could have been great, but I couldn't get past the fact of what was going on in the beat and how the verses was synced up. Mm -hmm. So if I don't even get to the, I can't even get to the lyrics at that point. That's how I listen. So. Got gotcha. you. Well, also, because I was that. I'm one of those people that part of the reason I like Shiny Suit Theory is because it's it's a, something that Pete Rock. It's something that was done over from a Pete Rock beat. Uh, from I Gotta Love off of the um, the second full length Pete Rock and Seal Smooth album. I'm mad I can't remember the name of it. But um, What joint did uh, Alchemist produce? I'm here looking at the credits. And oh, he his produced name. Uh, The Never, Never Ending, Ending Story. Story. Ah. Um, Shit's solid though. I mean, it is a, it's just, this is the conflict with me. It's a, it's a solid project with, and you know, solid to I'd say great project, which I'm disappointed in, because you know if you're gonna have Jay Z on your album, go ahead and put it out there that you got Jay Z on your album. You know, like I'm ahead. not really mad at him doing not saying that. Basically, in a sense of it would have put a different eye on it, mm -hmm. and you would have listened true, with a different true. ear, knowing that oh, Jay's on this album. And you, I, it would have been a different expectation. Too. A part of the story was in the build up, I think was the possibility. That's what got me. The possibility actually made me more, at least curious about it versus just him dropping an album. When we, when we saw stuff start being leaked about Jay might be on the album, that to me heightened my interest in it, in my opinion, that the fact that he might be on it, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Versus just him dropping it by himself. Go ahead, Jay Moore. I'm sorry. No, no, no problem. But um, and the thing is, if you're gonna look, I know what I feel like Jay Electronica could do. You know, Exhibit C is still one of those songs that when you put it on in certain spaces, everything stops. You know, and I didn't hear that level of MCing on this album. Except for there was a one or two songs. Um, I don't know that no. Fruit, Ezekiel so is Slim no fruits of the fruits of, and, and, and fruits of the spirit. But as soon as I'm like, oh, he's going in, the song is over. Mm -hmm. you that's know what I'm the quality, that's the quality sample, right? Uh, never been in love before. Flip. It's the exact same beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, shout out to Just Blaze because he killed that beat. Yes. Um, and nothing against what No ID did with it, but it's not just not what. No, nah, he's a legend. It's not no, what legend. with uh. Uh, just Blaze did with it. Um, it's just the thing that, like, I'm listening to this and I was like, okay, there's some stellar moments here, but quite honestly, I feel like the majority of this album, Jay Z outdid Jay Electronica. Mm. And uh, for this to be your debut, that what you present to the world is yes, this is my album. 
and for it to be it's great trust me any artist would love to have jay-z all over their first that's the fact album but if you're going to have him on here you better be you, you got to have your 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 sword a little uh, uh sharper than this um because I, I just feel like the standout moments for me were mostly jay-z especially like I'd... especially when half of this album Jay Z starts the songs. It's almost like they tacked Jay Electronica onto some of this stuff. Well, sometimes depending on how that song's put together, you put who sound like sometimes that's in the in the production of the song. Like, does Jay have a verse that sounds better at first or second? You know, sometimes that's how it works. But if this is your debut album, I would want all of my verses to sound better than Jay Z's. I, and I don't. You, you I don't say necessarily you lock in for forty days and forty nights. Like, man, I don't know. We, we initially made that announcement, and we were like, "Yeah, right." You know, especially after ten years of waiting on something, it's like, once again, it's a project that I enjoy, but am still disappointed in. I I was speaking specifically on verse placement, but yeah. but I'll also talk about. I don't necessarily agree with that. I I think Jay Electronica. I think he was fine. Like I, 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 there's definitely verses I actually remember more of Electronica's versus one-liners Jay-Z. than I do Jay's. Mm, right. So I can dig that. I thought, uh, I thought Jay Electronica actually shined on the album. Honestly, to be yeah, I do too. Be honest with you, it's just personally Jay Z offers a different <clears throat> version like, of himself. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just like it, it, it meshed really well to me. Jay Electronica kind of gave us what we expected, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can see it that. does sound too, and this another. Some people will take it as hate. You gonna say dated? Yeah, a little bit. There's it certain songs you like can it. tell they recorded them in the last month, and certain songs you can tell this has been sitting around for a while. I mean, obviously, shiny suit. Yeah, has yeah. been sitting around yeah. since yeah. what? 2010. If you listen, if yeah, you, 09, 010. And even still, if you listen to that <laughs> song now, it, you know what I mean. Stop yeah. that. Even if you listen to that song now, <laughs> it, it sounds like Jay Electronica's verse and Jay Z's verse were recorded at different times. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jay got to get a recoup on his investment at the end of the For day. For sure. Man, so that's tough. So have to tough. make sure that this album seen the light of day. Yeah. And yeah. I'm not mad at it. Okay. Uh, my, my guy Sonny actually hit me to a little bit of um, reasoning behind uh, the release based on him being Islamic. Right. Um, saying that with Jay, it kind of balances the light and the dark, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Okay. He, he kind of explained it as keeping one foot in heaven and one foot in hell, the yin yang, so to speak. Even though Jay was, yeah, on a more spiritual flow, he definitely was, yeah, yeah. But with with uh, Jay Electronica being <coughs> Islamic or whatnot, they do have certain things that they can't do or touch on. Right. I mean, I I thought it was solid. Um, I'm, I despise 24 cl- twenty four hour classic people, so we I try to run do, away from them. As soon as somebody drops out, I can't album, stand you it. You can't man. wait to I just hashtag twenty four hour classic. I'm going to continue to do that for all I releases. I, I just hate it. I see so much overreaction. Um, it's solid though. The Soldier Slim joint is probably my favorite one on here. I, I honestly, I'm not going to blame the people that were overly excited for this release that are calling it classic. They were because ready for this. They've been. I ready. wasn't one of those people, though. You know what I'm saying? We're different. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? To the point. Because we listen to so much music. We listen to yeah. different shit. And I'm not saying they don't either. They probably but do. Yeah. They probably they, do. They've been holding on to that, that Jay Electronica. Uh, there, there's definitely that, a. That, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, there's that a core. Feeling. That yeah. angst. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they're it. they're very happy to get this project. And I'm, I'm not, happy about it, but I'm not mad at that. I'm not jumping out the window with it. No, nah, I'm not mad at that. Like, I just, I don't want to be forced. I don't want to force be forced to be excited. Like, you can't make me be as excited as you are. Like, if you're that excited, cool. I respect that. Mm-hmm. I just wasn't that excited about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the Ghost of Soldier Slim is cold. Like, when I heard that, I was like, okay, here we go. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Uh, Blinding was cold. So I actually like the production on that a lot. Travis Scott, Beat mm-hmm. Switch. Yeah. Like, that was dope. Swiss Beats and... Uh, uh, a rap music yeah, and yeah, Hit Boy, yeah. I believe. So you know, three Who, monsters which got one, together. Which one's the song where it's like? Here he goes. You know he's gonna sing one. 
<laughs> that's shiny suit theory, right? Nah, that's uh, nah, I, I think, think that's never, is that is, uni- it, is, it, is it universal that the end? soldier? I don't know. It's nah, they the universal soldier. It's the one with the dream. It's uh, mm-hmm. Ezekiel's will. I think that's the one. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, never ending story was cool. I I love that record. I do too. Uh, I like shiny that suit theory. I I didn't need this. It's ten years old. I'm cool on that. Like when I saw that on the track list, I'm like, okay, they they threw this together. Like, I mean, this is an old song, so. Yeah, I that, wasn't really impressed I, I can, with I can that dig, on the track list. I can dig that, too. I mean... That's lazy to me, in Even my from opinion. people that expected and were happy for new music from, say, Electronica, you got kind of got to give that a side eye. Like, If I'm waiting for your album... I'm putting myself in that position. If I'm waiting on your album for 10 years, I don't want to hear a 10-year-old song. Yeah. My only thing is that the reason it's probably on there is because Jay's on it. Yeah. And, and I it think, goes I with think, the theme of the Jay dream, being on The Dream's on, on that one, too, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. it is. And The Dream's on another joint, so... Yeah. I, I'm cool on that idea. Uh, the Flux Capacitor, I'm cool. There's too much stuff going on on that. Uh, they got busy on fruits, uh, Fruit of the Spirit, but that's... He got... Ju- just, uh, just that's a solo joint. joint, right? Yeah, that's the one where I'm yeah. like, oh, he's snapping and it ends. Yeah, and I'm like, I've heard this beat before. That's Just Blaze. Um, I mean, it's cool, man. Like, I don't, I don't get... The feeling everybody else is getting. I'm not. I, I never would call it trash because it's too many. It's too much meat and potatoes in there for me to call it trash. But it's a solid effort. Um, production is is cool. It's a little lazy in my opinion. It's some good stuff on here, but it's not for my liking, I guess. But it's yeah, all right. Like so I you're think it's you don't like it. It's solid. It's why do you solid. Why do you call but the you production just, lazy? I mean, it's just I know certain production is stripped down, right? Like we know that sound is big right now, but some of this stuff is just. It's just. Maybe it's too artsy for me. They're trying to do do something different to it. I don't know. It just didn't register with me. My ears, it didn't register with me. Like some of the joints here, I'm like, it's cool. Like it's just, it didn't, it didn't fit. I didn't feel like I did when I heard the Soldier Slim joint. To me, that's undeniable. Yeah. As soon as I heard that, I was like, well, that yeah. one has drums, right? Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it does. But there are no Exhibit A or C's on this oh, album. No. There will never like, be another Exhibit A or C. That's, but that's what I'm saying, though. I'm <sighs> like, yo. That's where I can say I, I really enjoy the project. I've listened to it several times, but I'm still disappointed. Like, those records right there, those are, it's undeniable. Those are undeniable If he records. had to drop the album then, that's what when I'm, those were, there might have been another one compared to that. That's what I'm talking about. That's but what I'm talking about. But we're 10 years later in the game. Drake is considered one of the hottest rappers out right now. No question. Benny Came the Butcher the is dropping mad fucking heat. time. <laughs> yeah. Got to right. keep that sword sharp. At 100%. Yeah. yeah. But No, that's solid, though, man. Like, it's, it's some replay value for sure. It's joints I definitely would run, so I'm not going to So which totally part, dis- which part of everything that we said are we going to have the J Electronica stands? Uh, um, Let's see. The part about sh- shiny suit. They'll get mad about that one because... Definitely me bringing that up and me being white. Oh, my God. You about to get destroyed. Um, yeah, Shiny Sue. Caucasian. Sh- shiny Sue. You white and you talking about Jay Electronica. The <laughs> island itself is going to be a problem. That's tough mm. right now. Rosenberg mm. finding that out. Like, yeah. they, they destroying him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, uh, no, nah, man, Shiny <laughs> Suit will be... We'll definitely get it for that one because we. I'm mad because a 10-year-old song is on an album that people been waiting on for 10 years it's kind of weird but you Jay- didn't care so why does it matter wow. it's whack mm. to me we'll see in the comments though yeah yeah and it's cool we embrace those we love them like we'll yeah. we'll go back and comment like, i don't love them i like them i like when they comment i do no you can comment i don't yeah, love them I, though. yeah i like it man it's fun um we've been getting some good ones too so keep it up they've been engaged Rock with yeah, it. Shout out to the listeners. We yes. appreciate y'all. Yes, but I can't wait for be extra angry. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. But then nah, I'll give it a spin, man. It's so much meat and potatoes in here. I still gotta go back and there's so many bars I gotta go back and listen to again. And cause Jay Electronica, like it kind of re- you know what he kind of reminds shout out to my dude Earl Brown. Um brought this point up and uh my dude Scott as well. He's like, Man, kill a priest. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Yes. Heavy mental. Yeah, heavy mental. Like, that's, it's cutting that cloth. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion. Like, that's the one thing. When they told yeah. me that, I was like, yeah. You talking about that. the project or are you talking about the him specifically? Just, like, the way that he's, first of all, it's so much meat and potatoes on this album. Like, it sounds, like Priest, the album's called Heavy Mental. Like, Priest was really getting deep, deep. You know what I'm saying? I think Jay is really in his bag. Electronica is really in, in his bag on his religion. Just overall, like it's a lot of depth on here. So that's what kind of remind me of it. Cause 
if you listen to heavy metal, that's not for everybody. Like you really got to dig deep on that one. So, uh, you know, Jay got Jay was in his bag too, though. You know, I'm not gonna say he wasn't. He was in his bag, but it's solid, man. Like it's solid. I definitely have some joints on there. I would play back for sure. What's your rating? Uh, How many mics you giving it? My <laughs> three and a half. Uh, yeah. Out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Out of five. Okay. Yeah. Three and a half. Source. Three. Three. Point seven five. Yeah, you know, okay. but three. They get another four. They gonna get you almost a, a four. They yeah. gonna get you in the comments because you That's didn't give it a four. <laughs> <laughs> now they might get you in there for not giving it a five. Because I mean, honestly, it's not a five mic project. No, no, no. not at all. I, I'd say I'd, I'd, I'd say that. it's. I mean, I like. Don't get me wrong. I liked eight out of the ten tracks, and one was an intro. Yeah, so, it's uh, good. So, don't but, get me wrong. It's so really I mean, good. I'd, I'd say almost a four. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it a solid four, but uh, I'd like to think that we have more on the way. Maybe true, but also it was like, mm-hmm. look, uh, I don't that's know, a man. far stretch. I, he I might think that's a stretch, man. but at the same time, uh, <laughs> you know what? I think because uh, you know he had some he had some sideways stuff to say about Kendrick Lamar at one point. That was years ago, and so was uh, and was so was Shiny ago. Suit Theory. <laughs> Everything is years ago when that's we're talking about Jay Electronic. <laughs> yeah, he's been not jump out the window. Years ago. And oh, Kendrick, right now, I, and I'm telling you, if the coronavirus doesn't uh, <laughs> F up everything for everybody. I feel like Kendrick is coming this year. Shit. And it went. Kendrick fuck around and give you a corona tape. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Call man. first first corona uh verse one chapter three. Don't do that, and, man. And, and and Kendrick will give you Kendrick got a whole album of nothing but him. Yeah. J and, uh, I heard J Rock's it'll be albums eighty percent uh, done. I yeah. fool with J Rock, yeah. So Shout yeah. out to my man. He's about ready Lee. to get those TDE projects back out here. I'm ready for Re- his Reason's project. I liked all his singles that he's dropped Who? so far. Reason, Reason? yeah. Uh-huh. he's uh-huh. had some. He's some some nice. Jokes. They got a nice roster, man. Yeah. They got a nice roster. So he's dropped like two or three videos. So shout out to my man Jesse Lee. He hate Kendrick. I don't know why. I never understood that. We argue about that. Did any of you see that album, uh, that movie, The Photograph? Mm, no. I haven't seen it yet. It was it was good. I, you know, when um, all this stuff was happening, I said, "Well, let me go see one last movie before we shut down the movie theaters." <laughs> and I went to go see the photograph, and there was oh, a whole man. debate in there about Kendrick and Drake. It was actually pretty good. Well, you know. So, I mean, you can probably stream it somewhere at this point because it's been out for a while. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. You know y'all what? Know, y'all hey, know how listen. you all you uh, shout uh, the Fire Stick family. You know oh, how yeah. y'all do. Fire Keep it rocking. Family. I just Keep watched the new Star Wars today. Exactly. See, listen. Look, okay. check this out. Balling? Yeah. <laughs> check this out, though. So, no, he's not. Hence how he saw it. <laughs> right. We was at a house party game night, right? Okay. So I pull a card yeah. to draw uh, a Kendrick song. What Kendrick song was it? We're going to be all right. You had to draw the song? I had to draw it. Um, and when I got the card, this is for the win, though. Oh, pressure. I'm, I'm like, this is nothing. Yeah. Like, if you... But this is me. I know music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm drawing the song. Uh-huh. I can't. It's kind of fucked up that I can't think of what song I was drawing. It wasn't all right. We gonna be all right. What album? Uh, Butterfly. Old. Yeah. Old. Sexy. Swimming, might have been Swimming pools. Nah. Uh, what, it might have been off of uh, his last release. Damn. 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 Loyalty. I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff out. Love. There. Fear. Those are songs. Yeah. Those songs. Yeah. I don't know, man. Be humble. Shit. Was it humble? How do you draw humble? I don't know how you draw. Whatever I did, I know I drew some about some. uh, Might have been some chicks that were uh, women of the night. I had to draw them. If these had something to do with it, (laughs) don't do that. (laughs) That's a good one. I but see nah, what you did there. I, I just did. knew that they had it. And I'm so mad that I can't think of this song. I'm gonna think of it when the episode is over. Please do. And, we need and there were that. some younger cast too, so they didn't guess it. This was for the win. Oh, so man. afterwards, when I show them, they're like, "Oh, well, we don't. I don't really listen to Kendrick like that." And I was like, "This is a goddamn shame." <laughs> <laughs> like I just knew we had this in the bag when I. I'm yeah. like, oh, we got this. We well, you know, man. Yeah. He the, a storm is brewing though. I think with, with Kendrick, I don't know what he's gonna do, but he's on his way. He's on his way. Uh, Jay Moore, the main ingredient was that second album. By uh, the way, yes, for, the main uh, ingredient, yeah. first single, I gotta love. Nineteen ninety four. That's P-Y. where if you list, go back <laughs> and listen to on. that, that's the basis of Shiny Suit Theory. So that's what's up. Mm-hmm. All right, man. Let's shout out these partners real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Lone is singing these beats, man. 
slash songs. Shout out to Cole Medental uh, and Bra Ripple. I got it now. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you going to remember it, man? Or you want me to run? Yep. You got it? Yep. All right. So shout out to Cole Medento, one of our longtime partners, 317-255-8546, located in Broad Ripple here in Indianapolis. Yep. Uh, we appreciate them for all they do. Uh, make sure you get your teeth is right. No bad ideas. Partner from day one. Shout out to Jay Moore's phone yeah, or Terry's phone. Uh, you'll see <laughs> you'll see product placed around the set. I have a hat on. Jay Diff has a hat on. Book bags up there. Uh, they have been great to us. We really appreciate them as well. Great products. 20% off uh, on their website if you use new old heads. Am I right, Long? Is that the... All caps. All caps. Got it. Because they have a lot of caps. They do all have a cap. lot of caps. Uh, <laughs> bringing down to band.com as always. As you see by the banner, that is the hub. That's where we post everything related to the show, snippets from the show. You can catch the full episode, new music, etc. Make sure you go to YouTube, hit those bells for notifications. So There's you can, only one. Well, whatever. Hit multiple bells if you see them. <laughs> Actually, go ahead. hit it one time. If you hit it twice, you turn it off. That's go ahead it. and rock that bell. <laughs> rock that bell. I'll see what you did there. Uh, we really appreciate the support when you when you guys subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Keeps you in the loop uh, with everything that we have going on. Shout out to Indie CD and Vinyl. And all, and all comments. I like all comments. Yes. I, I just don't like the hateful comments because sometimes people... <sighs> I, 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 because, like, you don't have to be hateful. You can have an opinion without being Some hateful. people are miserable, longevity. I know. Misery loves company. Do better. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to any CD and Get a journal. as well. Start a blog. Yeah. You could, yeah. Go to start Starbucks. a podcast. Y'all think it's easy anyway. Just yeah. start one. Hey, yeah, it, uh, anybody could do that. <laughs> any right. CD and vinyl. Uh, we appreciate them as always. They provide us with the wax that we use for our raffles and for our Patreon, which you can get involved with also. Well, they've moved... Uh, their record store day till June. Till so, June due to okay. all this yeah, all stuff this going on. Yeah, they're yeah. currently closed, but they are shipping orders, I believe. So. Yeah, yes. so support them small go to, businesses. Go to the website. And, uh, yeah, break bread with them. We really appreciate them as a partner. com. Yes, and Sun King, our newest partner, uh, now available on tap. Well, I don't know. Their situation might they're be They're not right now. now. Uh, they're uh, pretty much uh, carry out only, but you, you can buy cans, them in stores. Uh, yes. You, they will give you a new growler just uh, for and a, Crowler, as Crowler. Well. Crowler, is that what it is? Okay. A thirty-two ounce joint. Okay, and um, yeah, you, you know we got the glasses. They that's their logo. Got yes. the logo placed uh, on the set as well. So we really appreciate them, new partner. Uh, got some great things playing with them. Hopefully in the future we really want to expand that relationship. So uh, we appreciate them and stop that long. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was Jay Diff with the noise. Speaking of Jay Diff, shout to Print I didn't around. tell you. Told on yourself. You made the noise. Print Finity. Just do it up out here. <laughs> He's the owner for Printfinity. Support your local businesses, man. My man's got some dope stuff. So we appreciate all the partners that help us bring this show to you all. And again, make sure you go to Bring Down the Band on YouTube. Uh, subscribe and hit the bells. Yep. That was a very long uh, portion. So, yeah. What's yeah. next? All right. So. He make it that I'm way just, every time. I'm just saying, yeah. man. You got to cover long everybody. Long-winded. Cover country, everybody. Country folk. Long-winded. Don't do that, man. Don't Cut do that. Nah, fat. You can't. Let me, let me, stop eating pointing? fat. Are you pointing? I am pointing. That's rude. Go ahead. Uh, I was trying to draw to pimp a butterfly is what I was trying to draw. Oh, the actual ah. album. The actual album. But I mean, it was easy to me because yeah. somebody, butterfly. before somebody had to draw like a pimp and some hose. So, so you drew the I'm pimp drawing the pimp with the hose. And I drew the butterfly. The butterfly was trash you drew. I mean, how hard is it to draw a butterfly? <laughs> Let me tell you, Terry, you'd never want to be my partner if I have to draw on any type of game. <laughs> Lisa yeah, that's Everybody. my brother. Yeah, I'm horrible. trash. Everything looks like a jaguar. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, everything, huh? Well, any type of animal. <laughs> so you definitely can't draw a liger. It look like no, a jaguar. no, nah, it might look like a human oh, all right. with a four legs. Yeah, hey, that's funny, man. Yeah. <laughs> At least but be nah, honest. I got to, to uh, pimp a butterfly. I just knew okay. I was gonna win off that joint. I'd have got that, man. I, I'm sure you would have. Yeah, but the youngsters, man. The other team got it. They knew what the hell was going that on. That made you My feel team, even worse. Yeah. I'm that, like, damn, y'all. That made you feel even worse, right? Yeah. All right. So, let's see. Complex. Oh, released boy. a list. You know, we've been on some. We, we had a list last time. 100 greatest hip-hop beats of all time. There's people, no way to go through 100. People have been in the comments. Oh, word? Yeah, That's yeah. what's up. our last one. That's what's up. I figured we could start around... Maybe twenty five and work in. Is Hold that on. cool? Wait a minute. There's no minute. way we can get to three hundred. One hundred is Black Steel in the Hour of Chaos. 
You want to wait and do this? Yeah, that's, why, that's we'll one, one of them one we need to review right, cool. a little bit. Yeah. All right, let's jump back in yeah, on... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no. I mean, we could do the top 25, but we could definitely talk about that one. For yeah, the, the reason why I say that is because next week, as long I, as I want to quarantine. have an idea Boom. of what's going Fair on. Fair enough. Now you can prep. To, you know. Yeah, now you can prep. Well, how about this then? Uh, speaking of what we were just talking about in terms Jay of- like Yamaka? <laughs> I see what you did Ooh, there. That was good. That was good. Yeah, I see what you did there. Joe Button- He said it first. He yeah. did. Joe Button, 10 years ago. J- Joe Button- <laughs> <laughs> He was on Twitter this. going back and forth with Jay a little bit. And mm. uh, I pulled two comments. Um, <laughs> Joe Budden said, if you if you took your took off your vocals, it's a whole mixtape. Peace unto you. Be well, King. That's what uh, Joe Budden said. Jay well, that said was a follow-up to, to Jay saying, I never heard your albums, bro. May Allah bless you. And your career as a journalist. Yeah, Joe Bud- was... Did Joe Budden say that he took, he said, I haven't heard yours either. I took all your verses off and listened to it. Bruh. He, <laughs> they both Bruh. capping. They bo- both of them capping. There we go. Because we Jay go. Electronica on record. What did he say? Is talking about how he fucks with Joe Budden. Yeah. On the record. That's a fact. They actually were talking about or in discussion somehow about signing the shady records. Those two together. I wish people would stop Donald Trumping. Oh, I see what you did there. Facts. I see what you did there. That's gonna break. Fake news. Oh, Fake news. You over here trying to pod. I'm sorry. That's, <laughs> that's my that's my Joe Bud impression. <laughs> <laughs> they need like the I feel like the little bouncy ball should go yeah, by like this when he be reading. Yeah. Forty five reading. Very big words. Very big words. These people know this. Yeah. Thank you. He lo- he loves saying words that end in L Y Lee. Lee, Lee, the bit that's where the big Lee. And <laughs> yeah, he was man. doing it all weekend. Yeah, he definitely said the coronavirus was a hoax. He definitely yeah. did. So, but they anyways, had to double back. But yeah, let's but yeah, stay on this music. But anyway, um, so this album, man, like you, you see, Joe, and I know Joe is going whenever they record their next. It episode. was apparently today. So was it today? Okay, yeah. So it'll be out tomorrow. I'm very curious to see what he says because journalist Joe is like ready like he stay ready yeah. and i think his um how do i want to say it like journalist joe's ego is kind of like his rap ego kind of carried over to him as a journalist like he's i don't know man he's always on 10 in my opinion like he's always on 10 i love their podcast by the way i'm just saying joe is always up for it it's almost like how he would approach if he was an MC still, like trying to, you He's know, got go that battle, battle. That's like what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think a part of it, just like one of the, I think one of the great uh, things about our particular podcast is that we have a producer uh, as one of the members of our Two podcast. Producers. Two. Two. Yeah. So when you guys hear things, like we'll just be like, oh, the beat was da 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 da. But you'll be like, yeah, this was mixed terribly. Literally, so like, when you started saying that, I, literally told you to scoot close to the mic. Yeah, exactly. That's part of what... <laughs> you can't help it, though. You like, know, that's part of his yeah. mindset as far as engineering the, yeah. the audio of this podcast yep. and when he makes beats. So, Joe being an MC, somebody who's seasoned in the game, who's put out more than his share of projects, mixtapes, collaborations, yes. albums with uh, Slaughterhouse, Slaughterhouse. Yeah. you know... Very of, seasoned MC. Of course, he's going to have a mindset that says, come on, man. Like, you're going to put out uh, an album that's less than 40 minutes you don't even rap on half of it and you want me to respect this as your debut album so where as us as laymen well i can't even say that because you guys have put out projects, or people that are fans or just people yeah. that are fans okay like i said but that's where in a way i'm coming from when i say this is a project that i think i enjoy listening to but i'm disappointed in mm-hmm. and i think it goes double for someone like Joe Budden who actually knows what it is to sit down, write and record music. And then here you have one song where you do it by yourself and it's less than two minutes on a album that's less than 40 minutes. So I think that's, and especially if we had to wait this long to get it, when you talk about I'm locking in for 40 days and 40 nights, you know, I have a perspective because I have so many friends who are artists who have to work real jobs. Bro, let me tell you. And they're still able to put out <laughs> what you say more, love. they're still able to put out <laughs> things that I feel like are a little bit they're maybe not the same quality, but are still more thoughtful. No, Static Selected in terminology released a project on Sunday called The Quarantine. 
oh, with ten, with, ten wow. t- with ten tracks and features, and it's actually really good. There's like six or seven really dope cuts check on that it. Out. Oh, oh word, okay, the quarantine. okay. Let's get Meaning that they've that. only started doing it, and obviously not too long ago. Yeah, yeah. Unless There's they ver- just versus, had some shit they were sitting. There on are verses talking about that. Okay, facts. So Which I mean, tell, to his no point, cap. it tells you. You know, they've been in the lab recently. They've so, been in the lab. J Electronica should have had 40 songs. He should have hollered at Chris Brown. He could have <laughs> told to him, him how to do it right. Talk to him. He could have put them 40 tracks on. Stream game. Water is wet. Yes, you know, sir. He definitely could have uh, hit up E40 because E40 knows how E40 to do it. E40 knows how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, 40, 40 has dropped 175 albums, it feel like. 50 11 of them. 50 11 times. Getting ready to do another a whole album with uh, he and Scarface. I saw that. Okay. I'm here for that. Yeah, I just saw yeah. that yeah. being I'm announced. Here today. I'm so here for I'm, that. Yeah, I'm That'd like, okay, I got to check that out. I'm definitely here for See, that. See, when we talk about, you know how how we bring up some of the old school cats. So there was L Cool J, and we kind of was like, eh. Yeah. When you bring up Scarface, that's different. I'm excited about anything Scarface drops. I would agree, and that's. I mean, that's just me. Because his I last came up album, on, his last album, he continually puts out good yeah. music. His, his last album was very good, consistently good. Yeah, and he, and he stays with the times, like he Definitely. stays relevant too. Agreed. Without losing himself. Yeah. So I'd be very curious to hear. First, let me let me say, I think it works. Don't do that. Let me tell you. <laughs> huh? Huh? Shout out to my man Dick Gregory Rest in peace I really wish uh, I could find A really good Dick Gregory soundbite Oh man I, I'll point you In the right direction That's my guy <laughs> huh? um, I wish you had had A recorder in the room them Oh times. my goodness man The 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 hmm, They hit different When you actually Get them in person <laughs> though. You know what I'm saying Like when he's looking at you and, and telling you You don't know What the hell You talking about like, What that's, kind of that's fool what, is you Yeah <laughs> I've been a fool a couple times. I, I was lucky enough to be a fool. It's an honor to get cussed out by Dick Gregory. Yeah. I yeah. imagine. Yeah, he, he definitely, Sumner alumni, St. Louis stand up. You know what it is. Yeah, he, he, uh, he definitely told me I didn't know what the hell I was talking about a couple times. It was cool, though. Took that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Joe. But, um, man, I lost my train of thought talking about the homie Dick Gregory. What, what, what did we say before that? Mm. I don't know, but this bitch regular. <laughs> <laughs> Always got to bring uh, Boosie back into the hey. fold when we we might we get a law. Hey, for y'all that's out here struggling, like Boosie said, <laughs> if you want to make some extra change <laughs> right now, knock it off, man. No, if you no. want to go ahead and put knock that it thing off, on live, no, no, knock it that. off. Do he that. might send you a thousand off. Knock it off, man. Thousand no, off. No. Thousand off. Knock he it off. He might send it to you. We were doing. He, he want to talk to you as a man in your camera, not I in your face. I want to talk to you on your man in your face. Knock yep. it off, man. <laughs> Yo, Shit. I will tell you. <laughs> I will tell y'all this though, and I'm gonna be completely. Okay, I got. Honest. I got ones for all these. Hey, there Listen, we go. There we go. I'm gonna tell y'all, and I'm I'm being 100 percent honest. I cannot wait for Boosie's TV show. I'm just telling Is, y'all. Does right he really now. got a TV show coming oh, out? Oh, he's definitely working on some type of online. I'm here I don't for know that. I'm here for Boosie. With cameras, you I'm know what? Here for that. You know what's a good TV show? What? Uh, Lil Dicky got a TV show. Is that it good? I haven't good. picked it. Yet. Man, it's that on shit FX and it's on is Hulu. great. Good yeah. for him. Yeah, good. It's for about him. three episodes in now. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's Listen. a comedian. In, comedian in it. Man, that yeah, show yeah. is the shit. Really? Dude can rap when he wants to. Now, he he got flow. He nice. Yeah. But, he can rap when he wants to. Listen, it's it's one of them shows. It's like uh. It's not quite Atlanta because you know how Atlanta is like uh, it has so many layers to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's just it's a hit, man. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Y'all Good should check him. that shit out. Okay. What's it called? What's this? Because it's just a real name. Um, I don't know. I've, I've seen it advertised. I don't know what Dave? it's called. Dave. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, Hulu, right? Is it's, it Hulu? It's, it's, nah, on, it's on. Fox. It's on FX. FX. But FX has got a partnership with Hulu now, so all that's the where I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that shit's good. Good for him. Yeah. I'm not mad at. Yeah, <laughs> I can't get a watch. It's man. enough to ho- probably hold you over until Atlanta comes out because hopefully Atlanta's actually on hiatus right did now because of to, coronavirus. Did anybody actually get to listen to Donald Glover's music? I didn't no, get to catch man. it. I don't know where it is. Now that's something I'm excited about. I, I have title, I, you know, but it's just like I. Now nah, he dropped it on his website. I went there. I'm not trying to do all that. I went there. Well, it's gone now. Nah. He took that mug down. All right, I'm, whatever. I wanted to hear that. <laughs> he said it got to be on the streaming site for I you was to like, Look, I need to listen. <laughs> I need to listen in my own leisure. I'm not trying to do all that. Yeah. Don't make it too hard. That's, See, I got to have a browser pulled up and shit. Yeah. Somebody got it somewhere somehow on. Oh, something. Yeah, it's out there. You know what I'm saying? So I'll find it. 
I'll find it. <laughs> I'll find it. You know what I'm saying? You cannot I run. Precious. But I'll be curious to hear it because I'll find it. I'll put on the I'll put on the bringing down the band channel. Talk that talk. Okay. Don't, don't be try. surprised if it if it pop up. And then disappears. Yeah, yeah. we'll get a strike on that one, but you know. <laughs> It's cool. We're going to eat that It's strike. for the culture, right? It's for yeah, the culture. Exactly, exactly. Damn right. Is there anything else I'm forgetting before we get out of here? I think we good. Yeah, we good. We didn't touch on a couple of little joints, but shit. We can hold on. We'll, we'll get to week. them. You know, if we if we hear next week. Right. <laughs> Stay safe. Might yes, do a remote show. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to do it for episode 177. As always, make sure you go to Bringing Down the Band's YouTube page. Subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Peace. And we'll see you next week. Peace. Holla. Stay safe, y'all. Stay mm-hmm. safe, y'all. Can I pet that dog? <laughs> <laughs> no, you cannot pet my goddamn dog. <laughs>